Hello, hello everyone, it is Katie here and welcome back to another Palletful Packs unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the Palletful Packs for the month of July and I can't wait to get into it. So, this box is thanks to all of my patrons who support me over on Patreon and if you're interested in becoming a patron to get rewards such as line art to download and color every month up to print packages sent to you every month uh, and other goodies. There will be a link right up here on the screen to where you can go check it out and maybe support me. I don't know, but if you do, I would really appreciate it. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's get into the Palletful Packs unboxing. So if you don't know what Palletful Packs is, I will have a description about them in the description below. But basically, they're an art subscription box you get every single month. Uh, it's kind of like Christmas every month. Um, it is a little bit more expensive of a... Um, subscription box and some other ones that I may show you here but uh, I get the Palletful Packs Petite box which is the small one and it's valued at about $24 a month they also have a bigger version of this which is just called the Palletful Packs box and that is around $35 a month and then they also have a young artist box which I believe is around $30 to $31 a month and that is geared towards younger artists. They also have free shipping to everyone in the United States and then I think Canada is $10 shipping and then everywhere else is $15 shipping. They did drop their international shipping by quite a bit so I do think that's a good thing. So anyway, without further ado, let's just open this box and see what this month's theme is. Alright, so the card is right on top and it says July box, lettering and sketching. It gives a rundown of the supplies in the box. They did not include a price breakdown this time, which I am sad about, but that's okay. Then they always have paper little worms and I love these and they're colored this time. Usually they're not colored, so I'm excited about these. Alright, so here are all the goodies that are in the box. It looks like we have a ton of things, so let's just grab them and go. So first off seems to be an Art Alternatives water brush. So let's get this out of the package. Oh, this one's so tiny! I thought it was like in half. Okay, so we've got a tiny little Art Alternatives uh, paint brush. Of course, it's a water brush, so you put water down here. Uh, and then it comes out here. It's a nice round brush. So I cannot wait to use this. Then the next thing we've got is a... A lot of this is in a language I do not speak. Oh, it's a Kudatake Bimoji brush. And I've actually had one of these before, so I can attest that they are very good. It's got some really nice lettering on it. got a little loop here at the end to where you can lo loop it up and then it is a it looks to be a flexible tip but we're going to be testing that out a little later then oh very nice we have a full set of Kelly creative duo tip markers we've got a whole rainbow set which is really cool so let's open them and take a look at one of them so we're gonna look at the purple one so again, it has two tips. It's got a chisel tip on one end and a fine tip on the other end. Next up, we've got an Elegant Writer. Oh, this is my Speedball. I like Speedball products. So we've got a Speedball Elegant Writer. It's got a chisel tip right here, good for calligraphy. And then the last thing in the box is some paper. One thing I really like about the Palletful Packs box is that they include everything you need to make a project of some kind, so I really appreciate, you know, everything, like all the thought they put into these boxes. So uh, we've got a pack of paper. This is a 4x6. It is by B Paper Company, and it is mixed media paper. So what's not to love about that? It is 93 pounds. Oh, I love it. It's super nice. How many sheets are in this? 60 sheets. It feels like a lot more than 60 sheets, but I'm really excited to test these supplies out on it. So, yeah, I, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I hope you're as excited about um, it as I am. Before we get into the actual speed paint portion of this video, I want to remind you guys that along with having a ton of new items in my store, like prints and charms and buttons and stuff like that, 
I am hosting a 30% off everything in my store sale from now until July 31st. So if you want to get out on the sale, I will have a link on the screen to where you can go check out my store and check out some awesome deals as well as some new stuff. Now on to the actual speed paint. So let's talk about the price of the box itself. So I pay $24 a month for this box. And as far as I can tell from all the items that I could price from Amazon because I did not have a price breakdown on their little card that they included. Um, from what I could find on Amazon, this box is worth $29.68, which I think is really nice. I will leave a price breakdown for each item in the description below next to the item, so um, you can kind of understand how I came up with that. But anyway, so let's talk about the supplies. Now, this box was geared a lot more toward, you know, calligraphy, and the theme was lettering and sketching, um, but of course, you gotta know me. I'm not really that great at calligraphy of, of any kind, so I, uh, I decided to go in a different direction. So most of the things were water soluble, which I thought was nice so I could use that to my advantage. So what I decided to do is use a little plastic palette that I saved from some packaging and I scribbled a lot of those Kelly Creative markers onto that and then I would pick it up with the water brush and paint onto the B paper with that. So um, that is most of this piece. I did end up going in with the Bemoji pen and lining it later on, but for the most part, I use the um, the calligraphy pens for, not calligraphy, I use it for art, so. So let's talk about the items in the box. So first off that comes to mind is the paper. Now this paper is really heavy duty. I used quite a bit of water on this and it was very slightly warped, uh, which I found is really great. I really like the texture of the paper um, and I do plan on using this. I have a ton of tiny sketchbooks now and uh, that's kind of like in the queue to be used because I really do enjoy it. Next up are the Kelly Creative Duo Tips. Now, I really did enjoy those, but again, I'm not a calligraphy person. I really enjoyed the color selection, but, um, and the fine tip, I really like the fine tip on that, but um, I did not really use those tips as far as like the way they're supposed to be used, so they really worked for, um, you know, watering down and using as paint. So <laughs> I guess that's the only experience I can really talk about. Um, Again, they seemed sturdy enough. The nibs seem really sturdy, so I would imagine they'd be great for calligraphy, but again, I have no idea on that. Uh, and in that same vein is the Elegant Writer. Now, I found this was the most water-soluble, and it had the most pretty effects. Whenever you would um, water it down, it would kind of turn into blues and pinks, which I thought was really pretty. And that's probably just the dye in the um, marker working, but I thought it was really pretty, so uh, I had a lot of fun kind of experimenting with that. But again, I didn't really use it for calligraphy. The nib is sturdy, and... Um, it works great for water effects. Uh, but if you are using it for calligraphy, make sure you're not putting any water on top of that because that thing will go everywhere. <laughs> Then we have the water brush. Um, I believe it was an Art Advantage water brush, but I could not find it anywhere, but it's pretty cheap. It's just like your really basic water brush. It's nothing to like write home about or anything. I don't know. It. I have water brushes now that I really like and they've really spoiled me. So anyway, um, it, this is probably my least favorite item out of the box just because it felt so cheap. And uh, I am glad they included it, though, because I do know in the bigger box, I think it was a lot more geared towards um, calligraphy and less towards watercolor because I feel like they wanted you to use watercolor effects with uh, the smaller box. So anyway, um, point is... It wasn't my favorite item. I feel like it could have been of higher quality, but again, the box was worth way more than what I paid, so I'm not really that upset about it. And then the last thing is the Kuretake Bimoji brush, and I really like it. Um, I was surprised. I thought it was going to have a harder nib than it does, but it's really easy to get, um, you know, line variations, and you can get, like, broken lines, and I don't know. I really liked it, and it was, like, a really good final touch to this piece, so I'm really happy about this. And whenever it dries, it's pretty much water resistant. Like, you can get it to lift a little bit, but it's not too much. So you can definitely watercolor over it as long as you do light layers. I would not suggest heavy layers of watercolor. My overall opinion of this box is, again, it was not tailored for me or anything. Um, one thing I like about the Palette Packs box is that they give you, you know, everything you need in a box to create something. So, like, they give you a project in a box, pretty much. Um, and they let you kind of run wild with your imagination. So, you know, they give you paper, they give you 
pretty much everything you're gonna need. I did not get a pencil of any kind. Again, that wasn't really part of the theme, but I did use a pencil that I had gotten from a previous Palette Full Packs box. So I guess it kind of all worked out in the end. But anyway, um, this was not my favorite as far as supplies were concerned, like as far as things I would continue using. However, I don't think this was a bad box. If you really like calligraphy, I think that this box is, was really great. And honestly, um, I should probably try to get into calligraphy. I just feel like my handwriting sucks. So <laughs> anyway, uh, my thoughts again, I really like this box. I love powerful packs box. It's probably my favorite box that I unbox because it's just, I don't know. I never have anything bad to say about it. And it always feels worth way more than what I pay. And that's always a good feeling. Here is a look at the final piece. Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. If you aren't already and you want to be a part of our Q Squid Pod, there is a subscribe button down below. And there's this little bell button next to it that if you click that, you get notified on when I upload new videos. Also, don't forget, I have social media down in the links in the description below. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!